guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do something slightly different today I'm going to show you I'm going to go through the um, A to Z of the control keyboard shortcut keys so for instance control A control B control C all the way up to Z and I'm going to tell you and show you what they do uh, I'm going to use this document as an example uh, and I'm going to show you how what the functions are okay so let's get started we're going to start with control A so control A so I'm clicking the document. Control A basically selects the text in the whole of the document. Okay, let's escape that. Control B, if you highlight the word, Control B will simply put bold on. Control C, I think everybody must know this one, copies. It will copy stuff to the keyboard, to the sorry, to the clipboard, so that you can paste it in somewhere else. Control D, that opens up the font dialog box. So you can change your, your, your font, the sizes, font size, bold, italic, stripe through, all the, all the interesting stuff in there. Okay, right, so Control E, I'm gonna highlight this. That basically just centers text. Okay, let's escape that, let's do Control Z. Okay, so we're on uh, Control F. That opens up the navigation pane, so you can do things like find, searching, bits and pieces in there. Um, it's very similar to Control G. So press Control G, which opens up a kind of different kind of find and replace. This one, Control G, specifically goes to the tab here of the go to, so that will just go to whatever page that you you want it to go to. So it's a little bit different than Control H, which I'm about to show you. So Control H will open up the same dialog box, but you see it's opened up in the, se in the um, second tab. And that basically is so that you can do a search and replace. So find a word and replace it with a different word. Let's close that down. So Control I, another basic one, basically we'll put italics on it. And, and, and all these, these keys, they toggle on and off. So that's a, uh, italics, Control I. Control J will justify the text. Um, for instance, let's let's make this left aligned. So this text uh, on B here is left aligned. If you press Control J, that basically justifies it. And basically, what it means, it just it just um, distributes the words between the left and the right margin. Whereas Control um, L, left align, will just just um, align it to the left, the left margin. Okay, so we're on Control K. Control K um, opens up the hyperlink box. So you can, if you wanted to link this word to another place in the document or to a, a different document, you press Control K and that opens up the insert hyperlink um, dialog box. And then you can just go and, and link it to either an email page, another place in this document or, or a, new, a new document. Okay, so we are on Control L. Left aligned, as I as I explained with the control J, it's, it's the it's the left aligned, the left aligned function here. So that would just basically it's very minor, but that would just align it to the to the left margin. Control M that will give you an indent, so it will, it will indent a paragraph. So it will just take it in just a little bit. You can if you continue to press it, it will just indent in more and more. Um, just as an aside, to get the um, indent back to the to the margin you use control shift M and then you can take it back all the way back to the margin control N very common one. I'm sure everybody knows this one control N will just give you a new document or a new template so let's go back control O I'm sure everybody knows this as well opens a new document or you, and you can pick templates from there control P I'm sure again everybody knows this one this is a uh, this will take you to the print dialog box okay now the mysterious control Q I've never actually used this shortcut key and so I had to do a little bit of a, a Google search to see what it what it does um, according to Google it um, removes manual paragraph formatting but I can't get it to work so basically if you highlight a section you're supposed to be able to press control J and it's supposed to remove this formatting. It doesn't work. I use, I'm using Microsoft Office 365, and I thought maybe it was because of that it didn't work. 
so I tried um, tried it using um, Word 2016 and it still doesn't work what I did notice though is if you do it um, if you highlight some of a paragraph that's got automatic numbering and you do it there well it did work last time it um, toggles this this thing off there if you're just watching I'm gonna press it again oh actually not working when I did it before it was it was taken off the automatic number uh, today it's not working so if, if anybody actually knows what can what control Q does please put it in the comments because I, I actually really would like to know what it's for and what it does like I was saying before I don't know why it's not working on this um, it was taking a numbering off but got no idea why it's not working now so there you go okay so control R on now control R basically will right align the text simple let's just come out of that control S save a document doesn't open the dialog box here but it actually does save the document control T will give you a hanging indent so just put it on the, the cursor in a paragraph control T will just give you a, a hanging indent or different different type of indent if you want to take it off um, it's control shift FT I'm oh, sorry control shift and T that will remove the indent okay so control U I'm sure you've all used that one that's underline I'm just going to toggle it on and off. Let's control U. Control V um, will basically paste whatever you've copied to the clipboard. So what, after you've used control C, control V will paste it in. Control W will close the window. So it's this equivalent of clicking the, the cross here. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to shut the document down. But um, control W will, will close the window. Control Y is the opposite to undo. So basically, um, if you've undone something, which is control Z, I don't know why they didn't do the other way around, but Control Z, if I want to delete this word, Control Z will actually cut it out. Didn't work. Control Z actually doesn't cut it out. Control Z is an undo. So if I delete it and press Control Z, it will put it, it will um, put it back in. And Control Y re redoes any previously undone action. So it just yeah it just reverses it. So Control Y will now delete that that word. So it kind of re-deletes it. Does that make sense? So the last one is Control Z, as I just mentioned. That basically just undoes the last the last thing that you did. Um, so that was that was it from A to Z. There are still a couple of other um, Control keys that are quite useful. Um, you've got Control and the square bracket, the, the square bracket that opens. If you press those two together that decreases the font size if you press control and the other square square bracket that will increase it that increases it so that's kind of a useful one um, and my favorite one of all of the control keys is control spacebar so when you highlight a paragraph you control you press control spacebar and that removes all the formatting off the paragraph which I think is supposed to be similar to control Q which doesn't work um, but con yeah control space bar will remove any manual character formatting okay guys that's the end of this video I hope you found it useful um, if like I said before if anybody knows of what the function is for control Q um, please let me know put it in the comment section below um, if you like the video please subscribe um, and I'll see you in the next video bye guys